Hello, everybody. This is Evil Demon Romez. For some reason, they thought it'd be kind of funny for me to do one of these uh, riff track things. Uh, so, I found something online I figured I could riff on. It's just one of these random training videos. and I don't think Wendy's will be coming after us for copyright on this thing. So, uh, yeah, let, let's just get going on it. There we go. Wendy's! Little asteroids are coming out at us. Presents! It's actually not too bad of a song here. Okay, now it's a terrible song. Oh god. A little tie down effect going here. Real skills! Yes. Hi. I'm Wendy's Hi. founder, Dave Thomas. Hi, I'm Demon, the Evil Demon Jerome, as I'm here for your soul. My goal has been to serve the best Interested. in the business. A Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger. So, I started with the freshest beef I could find. 100% So, this is what you do when you're not, you know, hanging around orphans or making sure they're orphans. Over the side of the bun. Oh, I'm sorry, am I speaking all the dead? You see, I do that a lot. I am a demon. ...juices and served it hot off the grill with a customer's choice of toppings. No other hamburger chain can make those claims. Uh, that's just, uh, some way, but they're not really hamburgers. And that's why our customers come to Wendy's. Also because they want to get fat. Look at me, I'm really fat. Press the meat patty. Press the meat patty is really important, and here's why. The patty because I made it from the orphans that I visit. And makes you wouldn't want to dishonor their memories now, would ya? Patty larger, so they'll hang over the edge of the bun. And people will like that. Pressing the hamburger patty requires skill and dedication. You have to watch over the patties constantly as they cook. You should always serve a perfect Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger. The one that you Old fashioned. be your best friend. You have one of the you most... You know, seriously, I just give any burger with right my now, best friend. I want you to devote your full attention to learning the new four-corner... Hell, I, I'd send my best friend to hell. Old Fashioned Hamburgers. And while you're doing that... I'm going to have a hot and juicy hamburger with mustard, pickle, and onion. Like I have every single day for every meal. That's why I look like this. This isn't really his house. Wait, wait, wait. If this isn't a house, why the thing with the key? And, uh, okay, whatever. Um, hey, Greg, what's up? Not much. Mary's up front. She wants to see you. Right. Yeah, that was Greg. Greg! Greg's not really a very nice guy. He, uh... Yeah, he, he kills people on the weekends. And then feeds them to their parents. Although it's quite tasty what he does here. He's, he's with a special sauce that he puts on him. It's sweet and sour sauce. Grill, but let me show you every you might ever eaten you. like your your, your own child the sweet and sour sauce. And the cheese is over here. Bun warmer up above keeps the buns warm and fresh. Remember, we serve 100% pure ground beef. It's, it's not really beef, beef actually. It's, it's like I said, it was, it's, it's human flesh. It's now the it's children that show. Dave Thomas visits. This is a crew guide and the grill training tape. Why don't you have a look at the tape first, and I'll check back with you in a few minutes. All right. She later finds him in the bathroom, curled up in the beetle position. Wait, it's one of those soul ceiling videotapes! Run for your life! What the hell? It's do I take your soul! I I'm sure this is sanitary. <laughs> it's going to take your soul, man. Run! Did you see? I, you should have listened to me. Now you're stuck in this bad rap hell for the rest of your life. Seriously, man, don't quit your day job. I mean, it, I, mean I guess your day job doesn't have much promise, but don't quit it. Okay, do you have your tools? 
Are you with me I think you got a couple of screws loose, so maybe you should get a screwdriver and put it back in there. You got grain to it just like wood. You got to follow the arrow to lay it down like you should. From the front to the back, you got to lay it down. Space it evenly, not scattered around. Next, yeah, because that makes it a difference. From the back to the front to make the taste complete. Not too little, not too much. Wow, I think you can already eat that for a girl. Look at that, a lot of salt. What's coming up next is our key to success. We'll turn the we meat throw a into key a onto the grill. Too long, I emphasize, or the meat won't reach the proper side. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently Delicious. Meat, but don't looking at it. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken penny. That's a guarantee. No, no, because that, that makes such a difference. Rock it a bit. Are you keeping score? Top and bottom. Let All the grease on these things. Good grief. Press out the corners, nice and wide, at least half an inch on both sides. I think it's pretty much all it is, just this giant Three grease spread. patty. You gotta think when the meat hits the grill, it starts to shrink. We start shrinking when we hit that grill. You know it when uh, we start wow. shrinking. We this this is just grill. scary. You know I mean... Yeah, when you see Kenny shouldn't have dropped acid and before he came here. The turn and press a repeat. Do it again just like you did before. Do the four corner press just one time more. Now once you press this the second time, don't press them again because the meat's just fine. But when you see red juices rise, turn the patty over to the other side. How much did they pay him for this bit? You see, and keep the meat moist so it's hot and juicy. When the meat's red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty or the winner prize. Seriously, you get a gold medal for flipping burgers. Well, I guess in today's underachieving society, that's not much of a surprise. To be correct, and on this place, you're ready to go. Drain the meat, just like so. Once the draining is totally done, you just sit there for half an hour to drain all the grease off that thing. You give it a shot. Don't be afraid, I think you're gonna be hot.